Today, I'm going to show you how to create a bunny out of clouds in Photoshop. Hey guys and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace and you can find me on Flurn.com where we make learning Photoshop and photography fun. And today's episode is going to be so much fun because I'm going to show you how to make a bunny out of clouds in Photoshop. Now you might be thinking this is an incredibly specific episode. Why would you do that? I don't want to make a bunny out of clouds. Well, there's a lot you can learn from here and we're going to be making a bunny out of clouds in today's episode, but you can use these exact same techniques to create just about any shape or even text that you wanted to. So we're going to show you how to bring in a reference image and then we're going to show you how to shape the clouds around this reference image, basically making whatever shape you want. Then we're going to show you how to load up a custom brush that's going to be available for download. Now this custom brush, we actually recreated a cloud as a brush and we're going to be using this to define the edges of the cloud, giving it a really realistic appearance. And you can use these techniques to create any shape you want out of clouds. Like if you want to say, I love you to your sweet someone in your life, you can do that with this episode. All right, guys, let's get into Photoshop. So here's where we're starting today's episode. We've got a bunny and we've got some clouds and we're going to be making these clouds look like they're made uh, into a bunny. So the first thing I want to do, I'm going to use my move tool here. We're going to click on our move tool and I'm going to click and drag from one image over to the other. There we go. We've got our bunny in our image. I'm going to hit F for full screen and zoom in a little bit. And I want to go ahead and cut my bunny out of the background. Now we don't have to do this incredibly well. We can do a very rough version. So what I'm going to do is grab my magic wand tool. There we go. We'll bring our tolerance up to about anywhere between between, twin, <laughs> between, between 10 and 15 is going to work. There we go. Let's select on our background and then let's click on our layer mask button there. Okay. Now you can see it cut out the opposite of what we want. So we're going to click on our bunny or whatever shape you got and hit command I. So we just got our bunny in there. All right. And our bunny is going to be sitting right about there. Maybe let's just make him a little bit smaller. Command T and then there we go looking good. Okay, so we've got a bunny and we've got some clouds. Now we're only using this bunny as a reference. We're not gonna actually going to convert this photo to make it look like it's out of clouds. We're going to use the clouds in the existing image. So let's go ahead and make the bunny invisible for now. We're going to click on our background layer and then I need a way to select out these clouds. So on our background, we're going to go to select and then down here to color range. Okay, now here in the color range, we're going to click on our actual image which is going to allow us, we'll just click there, to select out that white. So we're just going to click here. There we go. And something like that. You can see like that's what's going to get selected. So whatever's light here is going to get selected. Whatever's dark will not get selected. So let's go ahead and hit OK. You can see that gets selected. Now from our background layer, we're going to hit Control or Command J. And that's going to duplicate it to a new layer. So Control or Command J duplicates whatever's in that selection to a new layer. So we can see background. Now we have a new layer, layer two. So if I click and drag this up, we can see we have exactly those clouds right above it, which is cool. Now we have one little thing. You can see there's a little bit of an edge there that makes the clouds not look like uh, they blend together so well. We're going to change our blend mode from normal over here to lighten. And that's just going to allow these clouds. Look how well they blend together now. It just looks like clouds hanging out together, having a good time there. All right, so we're going to be using these clouds to create the bunny. So let's go ahead and turn our bunny back on visible. Let's put the clouds above our bunny real quick. And then we're going to do this in a couple of different layers. And we're going to be using things like layer masks to get our bunny uh, looking how we want. So we've got the front of the bunny there. We're going to hit command J and I'm going to just bring this up. This is going to be the back of the bunny there. Okay, command J again. All right, we're going to make this area just deciding what, what I want the head of the bunny to look like. All right, now if you want to try to like define, like if, for instance, if you want to rotate your clouds around to try to make what's going on in the background line up, you can totally do that. All right, that looks pretty good there. Let's hit Command J one more time. And here we're going to get the clouds up there at the top for the ears. All right, cool. Now. Basically, my job is to use layer masks to hide different parts of these clouds, making it look like um, the clouds are made into a bunny. So if I make my bunny invisible, you can see we just got a, a whole bunch of different clouds here. Okay, 
Now, when you're creating a layer mask, let's go ahead and start off with just one layer and show you basically the idea here. So a layer mask is basically a way to make one part of a layer visible and another part of the layer invisible. So if I click on my layer mask button here and I use my brush tool and I paint black on my layer mask, all right, this is basically the idea of what we're going to do. Now let's make our bunny invisible and we can see that looks okay, but look at the edge here. It really doesn't look that great. The edge of the bunny doesn't look like it's made up of clouds. It just looks like a soft brush in Photoshop, right? And here comes the tricky part. So instead of just using a soft edge brush, what we're going to do is we're actually going to use a brush that's made out of cloud, which is like psh, pretty amazing. And this brush is available for download on flurn.com. Just go to the bottom of this episode there in the description. You can download this brush. All right. So how do you make a brush out of a cloud? We're going to show you how to do that. And then we're going to show you how to actually apply it on this image. So how do you make a brush out of a cloud? Well, I'm going to show you. So let's go ahead and turn on one of our layers here. We've got this layer here. Now I'm going to go ahead and get it to a new document. So let's go ahead. And we're just going to right click here on this layer. Okay. We're going to go to duplicate layer. There we go. And over here, we're going to go to a new document. All right. There we have our cloud. There we go. Looking pretty good. Now, what we want to do is I'm going to create a solid color layer. We want this to be white and we want this to be underneath our cloud. Okay. So we've got a white layer and then we've got our cloud layer. Now our cloud, we're going to put this back to normal. So there we can see that's what our cloud looks like now. Okay. Now, when you're creating a custom brush, you actually want the brush shape to be black and the background to be white. So in this case, I need that cloud to be black. Okay. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lock the transparency of this layer. Now locking the transparency only lets me affect whatever the visible pixels on this layer are. Okay. Lock the transparency of that layer, hit shift delete, and then we're going to fill that layer with black, making something like this. All right. Now, if you guys don't want to create your own cloud brush, it's not a big deal because you can just download the ones from this episode on flurn.com. All right. Basically, I'm just like erasing anything around the edges that we might see there. Okay. And that is all you need to do to create a cloud brush. So now that we have this shape in there, we'll go ahead and just crop this in just a little bit more. There we go. And we're going to go to edit and then down here to define brush preset. And we're just going to call this cloud and hit enter there. Okay. Now we have a cloud brush. So let's go back to this original image. All right. And we're going to hit B for the brush tool. We're going to right click and go all the way down to here and then check it out. You can see the outline of my brush actually looks like a cloud. So as I paint, check this out. It's like, bonk, I just painted on a cloud. Let's make sure our settings are there. All right. So I could just paint all these clouds all day long if I want to. All right. Now I went ahead and already saved out a couple cloud brushes for you guys. So here's how you go ahead and load those into Photoshop. Go to window and down to brush. All right. So here we have our brush. We're going to go to our brush presets. Where is that at? All right. Window down to brush presets. There we go. Sorry. Don't go to brush, go to brush presets. Now we're going to click here and we're going to go to load brushes. All right. So we're going to load these brushes in. All right. And we're going to go to the download for this episode. So if you download this brush on flurn.com, all you have to do is go to load and then flurn cloud brushes.avr. So we'll hit open there. Okay, cool. So now you can see we've got a couple brushes here at our disposal. Let's just right click with our brush tool and we can see we've got two different cloud brushes loaded into Photoshop. So this is the one we're going to be using right here. It's already loaded with all kinds of goodies on it. So you can see I can click a few times and there we go. I've got a really nice cloud brush here in Photoshop. All right. Now let's get to actually making that bunny. So we're going to use this cloud brush to define the edges of the bunny. All right. So jumping back into Photoshop, we're going to go ahead and make our bunny visible. And then we've got our clouds here on this layer. And remember what we want to do is create a realistic edge for our clouds. So we're going to paint with our new brush tool to create basically the edge of our bunny. So as I paint here, it basically is just going to fill this area in with an area that looks like clouds. So instead of just giving it an unrealistic edge, 
Let's make that invisible now. We can see that this actually looks like clouds because, well, it's made from clouds. So we can see we can paint this edge in, and there we go. It, as long as I keep painting it in there, it's just going to keep looking like clouds, which is really cool. All right, and all we have to do now is basically do the rest of the bunny. So let's put a layer mask right over there. We're going to paint black over this part of the bunny. There we go. I recommend painting black on the outside first and then painting white from the inside out a little bit. And that's just going to give it that like really nice puffy cloud shape. That's awesome. <laughs> the sweet desired puffy cloud shape. All right. Let's click on this layer mask and we'll do the same thing here. All right, looking good. And we'll make our layer mask just a little bit bigger, give it some nice puff. There we go. This one too, we'll make a layer mask here. And I'm going to paint black over the majority of the area. Again, I'm just using this outline of the original bunny photo to define where this layer is going to be visible and not visible. And we got our special brush that makes everything look like clouds. All right, there we go. Paint white in there a little bit. This layer mask, I'm going to hold Alt or Option and click on my layer mask, making a black layer mask. And then all I have to do is paint white right over here. All right. Pretty cool. All right, let's go ahead and make our bunny invisible and check out our bunny clouds, which actually look pretty awesome. Now, I'm just going to lower the opacity of my brush just a little bit and paint it in towards the edges just a little bit to kind of give it a little bit more like a, a realistic, you know, you don't want your edges to be like incredibly precise here because it's, you know, it's clouds, right? There's not, you don't want it to look like too photoshopped and, and too perfect. But the real cool part is they actually do look like, um, well, the clouds have realistic edges and we totally have a bunny. So we got one more thing we're going to add to this, okay? And basically, let's just paint that back visible there. All right, we're gonna add a little bit more definition to the white area in our clouds, okay? So this is like, this is a bonus here. All right, now we've got our cloud bunny looking really good. Uh, so what we're gonna do, I'm gonna create an adjustment layer. We're gonna go up to curves adjustment layer, and I'm gonna make this a little bit brighter here, okay? Just a bit brighter. There we go. Now let's go ahead and close that down. I'm going to hit Control or Command I on this layer mask. Okay. And then I'm going to use my cloud brush to just kind of define just a little bit of a brighter area, like right around the top of the bunny. There we go. And this is just going to help the, give it some of that nice bunny definition. There we go. So basically just outlining the top makes it kind of look like the light is hitting the top of the clouds there in that bunny shape giving it a little bit more depth. And if you want to, you can create a curves adjustment. We're gonna make this a little bit darker now. All right, and then I'm gonna hit Command I and I can make this a little bit darker here on the bottom of the bunny. <laughs> I love that I'm making a bunny in today's episode. It's so much fun. All right, on the bottom of the bunny. There we go. So we're just adding a little bit of definition to the bunny. All right, cool. Now we have our bunny. Let's just shift click on all of these layers and I can move them around using my move tool. Really nice and easy so I can fit them with the rest of my image and we're good to go. Let's just add a layer mask because it looks like we've got some areas around here that just duplicated unnecessarily and we're good to go. All right, guys, let's go ahead and show you the before and the after. Here's our before and the after. Cool. All right, and you can use these techniques to create any shape you want in Photoshop. The real key here is duplicating that cloud over and over to cover the space that you want, and then using a cloud brush to define the edges. Because if you just use a regular brush, it's not going to look like a cloud. So we actually created a cloud brush to define the edges of the clouds, making it look completely realistic. You can do this with text, you can do this with an image, anything you can think of, guys. So to recap the episode, we started off by duplicating our cloud. We went to select and down to color range and chose white. Next, we duplicated this from the background layer and we changed our blend mode from normal down to lighten. This allowed us to lighten the areas, allowing the clouds to blend in together. 
Next we duplicated this a couple of times, allowing us coverage for the entire bunny. Next we created a cloud brush. To do this we duplicated our cloud to a new document, we hit that lock transparency icon and then we filled it with black. We made a white layer underneath and then went down to edit and then down to define brush preset. This gave us the actual shape of the brush. Now in this case we actually showed you how to make your own brush, but if you want to just download the brushes we used in this episode, just follow the description right down below. Then all you have to do is use the cloud brush to define the edges of the bunny, or whatever shape you have. In this case we just painted black around the edges and then white where the bunny is. As a bonus we added some light and some dark on the top and the bottom to give it a little bit more definition. That's all there is to it guys. Thanks so much for hanging out with me and watching today's episode. If you love Photoshop and photography like I do, you wanna click on your screen right about now. We're gonna put a big subscribe button on there. That's the way you can stay tapped in and receive free Photoshop and photography episodes every single week. And if you have an idea for an episode or a question or a comment about today's episode, leave it right down below. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks so much guys. I'll flirt you later. Woo, bunny out of clouds. I feel like God. <laughs> Bunny! Orangutan! Orangutan! <laughs> or what? That's not how you say it. Tang? There's no G at the end. There's no G at the end of that word. <laughs>